Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can uh, easily embed videos on SharePoint pages. Now, uh, SharePoint is absolutely fantastic in terms of, uh, you know, being able to store videos and display videos. However, you know, most of the time when you store uh, video files like MP4, for example, uh, at the end of the day, you want to display them to your end users. So what I would like to show you right now is how easy it is uh, to display on a SharePoint page using the new stream web part. So what I have here uh, is a document library and I have a bunch of, you know, videos in here. I have other file types as well. You typically store videos in the same, you know, in the, the same way you would store uh, the regular files, just uh, a regular document library. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, create a page so we can display some of those videos to our end users. So for this, I will navigate to the uh, home page. Uh, of my site. Uh, why? Because we would like to create a new page. So you would click new page. Uh, and obviously you can use the existing page. In my case, I'm creating a uh, brand new page and let's click create. And uh, what we're going to do here, let's just uh, call it uh, training videos, for example. And essentially now we can, you know, change the layout and look and feel, you know, what I like to do, especially for videos, uh, let's switch it to three column layout so we can uh, fit uh, lots of videos in here. And uh, the next step, uh, we are going to add a, a web part uh, called stream. So you just click the plus sign. Uh, you can find it in the list, all uh, right, uh, right here. Um, and you can also type in the name uh, of it as well, stream. And this is what uh, essentially uh, it looks like. It automatically already picks on one of the videos, you know, on the site and pretty much displays it. But uh, let's uh, customize uh, our uh, settings. We, In this case, so you, we will click on this Edit Properties button. And uh, first of all, we can, uh, so by default, uh, it pretty much, uh, you know, gr grabs all the videos from our site. Uh, you know what? We are going to go for single video for now. And it actually offers me, um, you know, different videos, I guess, uh, I already have. Let's, you know, pick it from that library that I just showed you. So uh, the videos uh, are residing in here. You know what? Let's pick this one. Okay. So a, a nice uh, short video and click select. And that's pretty much it. We are displaying a single video. So there is nothing else for us to configure. Let's publish. And let me show you what the experience will be like. So once the video uh, was embedded uh, on the SharePoint page, right now uh, the use, all the users have to do is just literally uh, play uh, the video right from within the page. So it's a pretty uh, amazing user experience. They no longer need you know to click on the video, go to another screen. Essentially, they can play uh, and uh, all, you know pretty much have uh, the YouTube-like experience right on the SharePoint page. Now, uh, in this particular case, I only added uh, one video, let's add a few. Uh, there is a way to do that. So you uh, uh, will once again click the edit button. And uh, you know what, let me just move this over here. Let's add another stream uh, web part. And this time, uh, so let's see what else is available. So uh, we can actually embed a playlist uh, of videos. Uh, now, I'm actually going to record a separate video on this. Uh, the playlist is the ability uh, to uh, pretty much create a custom you know, playlist of videos and then display from the page. So uh, I will be recording another video on that. But for now, I want to show you uh, multiple uh, videos. And what you can do, what you can do to display uh, multiple videos is pretty much, um, I probably did it uh, too quickly, uh, but um, you can select, for example, a uh, folder. And then we are going to actually select a folder where the videos reside. And in this case, uh, first of all, I can select the entire library uh, and grab all those videos. Uh, because I have a bunch of videos in my library. But you know what? I want to be very specific. I actually have this folder 
that contains a few, uh, let's say, training videos. So I'm going to click the checkbox, click select, and I think I have like two or three videos on there. So uh, yeah, three videos. And essentially it just grabs uh, the videos from that folder only. Uh, now, because we're displaying multiple videos, we can you know, change the layout, um, you know, of the uh, of the web part. And I think I have to uh, probably let's do this so we can see all the options just like that. Yeah, so uh, this is what it will look like, um, you know, with different uh, layouts. Uh, the theater layout is essentially takes one video, you know, uh, lots of real estate to display this particular video, the video that you get to select. And with greed, uh, it pretty much displays all of them. But when you click on a given video, it, it kind of jumps out. So you know what? Let's leave this in place and see how it will look like. And yeah, you can configure the number of videos and how many to display, uh, uh, you know, how many um, rows of videos to display and so on and how to sort them. Let's leave it alone. Uh, let's uh, republish. And yeah, this is the experience I wanted to show you. Pretty cool, pretty cool. You see, so if I want to display a given video or play a given video, it's a very nice experience. Remember the theater mode takes up all this additional real estate, which is not the case in here. You see, uh, I just click play and it pretty much plays the videos, it has this nice little pop-up uh, right on the SharePoint page. So in my opinion, a pretty uh, amazing experience. Uh, let me show you one more option um, that's available. Uh, so if I click the edit properties again, uh, and um, when I display this default option, videos on this site, essentially it automatically grabs all the videos on the site. So I wanted to, to show you that option. It's pretty much all or nothing. You either uh, display, um, you know, pretty much all the videos or single one or, um, you know, uh, all the videos from a given folder. Uh, the only way to kind of pick and choose specific videos would be uh, to do so through the playlist. Uh, but for that, I will be recording a separate video that I will also be uh, publishing on my channel. Uh, but for now, uh, that's all I really wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. In my opinion, Microsoft did an amazing job with this uh, new stream uh, web part. So definitely if you have videos to display uh, to your uh, users, definitely take advantage uh, of this uh, uh, web part and add it to your SharePoint pages. Uh, but for now, once again, thanks again. Um, for watching this video, uh, look forward to seeing my seeing you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.